vibe makers, it's Lila with LB Novelties and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a happy planner family emergency action plan. Yes, it's a mouthful, but it's honestly a great system to have at home in case of an emergency. A natural disaster, a household fire, a flood, or any kind of element that may be affecting your city or state. It's good to be prepared and know what plans to put into action in case that were to occur. So if you want to see how I made this happen, keep watching the video. And guys, don't forget to hit that like button. So the items you'll be needing to create this planner system are, of course, a cover set. I brought this at Joann's for a pack of three, and it's the classic size covers. You'll be needing your disc, of course. I have the medium sized disc right here, set of nine. Some stickers. I have some pre-selected sticker books here your paper mate markers, some washi tape of your color choice. I have an Elmer's tape runner glue here. I also have this sticker roll from a prior mom pack box that I found at Hobby Lobby. You'll be needing a pocket folder from the Happy Planner, some dashboards, a yellow envelope, and then I also have this uh, divider from a prior extension pack and because it has a tab but you can make your own if need be. I have some happy planner sheet packs right here. I have a, a pack of 40 and it comes with lined paper as well as graph paper. And then you'll also be needing to print out a communication plan on FEMA's website. It's ready.gov. I'll make sure to link the website on my description box. But the great thing about this is it has a checklist for you to go through with your family. And I was able to print out the family emergency communication plan onto cardstock so it's a little bit sturdier. And when you print it out so it could fit into your classic size planner, I recommend scaling it down to 75%. And then all I'm going to do is slice the excess paper and punch it with a hole puncher. So of course you're going to be needing a happy planner hole puncher. Your paper slicer. And I also have the Happy Planner box cut puncher in case I need it for some other elements in this planner. So I'm going to get this all situated, so stay tuned to see how it comes all together. Um, backdrop with the white polka dots set that I'm going to be using. I have the alphabet book, my colorful um, boxes book, and I'm going to be using the silver um, box right here. That's like a graph with a silver outline. I'm going to put that as my title box where I could put family emergency plan. I'm just going to center it and line it up with these dots. That's what it looks like. All right, so there's my title with family emergency plan on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some of those fun stickers on my cover sheet just so it's cute and stuff. So I found these really cute stickers at Hobby Lobby and I love that they incorporate the theme of like just having emergencies and medical equipment ready and then on, on hand. So here's the finished look of my cover sheet. I really love how it came out. Um, it just looks so cute and perfect and themed for the family emergency. Sorry, I'm tilting it like this so the ring light doesn't reflect off of it. But I love how it, it, it just looks. And now I'm going to actually insert my, my disc onto it so it's ready to go. So the next step is to take out your paper slicer and I have my family emergency communication plan from the FEMA ready.gov website. I went ahead and printed this at 75% scale so it could fit inside my classic size planner. And I already measured where I want to cut it so it fits inside. So the next item I'll be adding into my Happy Planner system is an envelope to carry cash in, inside in case of an emergency. Sometimes you won't be able to access your bank account 
or have the use of credit cards if the lines are all down. So it's a great system to carry cash with you in minimum denominations in case of an emergency. So I have right here a yellow envelope that I just purchased at the dollar store. And this size is preferable because it'll fit perfectly on this divider. I have a divider here for my wellness extension plan. And I'm just going to tape this down onto this. And I also have some stickers from the budget sticker book sheet of the Happy Planner. I'm going to be using these ones with the rainy day theme savings account. I'll be using this sticker that says emergency fund. And I'm also going to be using one of these colorful boxes from the Happy Planner sticker box. All right, so now that we have this, you bring out your paper mate marker and you're gonna fill in what your goal is. So, goal is $400. All right, so that's our goal. And then we're gonna go in and put $40 in for our start of our emergency fund. Gotta lift this up, and then there we go. And then I could put in here forty dollars, and I put it on the twenty-six. And there we go. And now you have this to incorporate into your system. So we're gonna put this in and for. Happy Planner system now. The next planner sheet I'm going to be creating is the family member planner sheet. It's basically going to have each family member listed on here with a photo next to it. I'm going to list their name, their birthday, eye color, and hair color. And it's going to be a great way to show a police officer or a firefighter what that family member looks like in case you have lost them during a natural disaster or emergency. So I'll show you what I have to make this happen. I have my Happy Planner box cut puncher, some washi tape, some letters from the alphabet sticker book, and then some colorful boxes from the colorful box Happy Planner sticker book. And I have a photo of myself and tape runner. All right, so I'm gonna be using some washi tape. I've had, I have three colors right here that coordinate with each other and the stripes as well. And um, they remind me of like first aid colors. So I'm going to be using this stripe one to do my top portion. And you can use any washi tape color that you want that makes it personal to your own taste and that of your family. So there we go, it says our family. So I decided I'm gonna actually add 2019 here. So that way you update it every year and you could put a most recent photo, especially if you have kids, kids grow so quickly. Um, my son, I mean, he literally grows inches taller every second I see him. So it's a great way to at least know that you have to update this every year. And you never know, your family might keep growing as well, so you might need to add more family members to this. Okay, so now I'm going to actually add my colorful boxes, and I want to use the ones with the lines on it, so I could uh, write in the information. So I'm going to add this right here. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do is grab my picture. And all you have to do is insert it inside here. Just insert it, and then all you do is squeeze this, and there you go. And it pops out the photo. Perfect. And then all I'm going to do is tape the back of it with my Elmer's glue. All right. 
and then we're going to put this right next to it. All right. All right, so this is what it looks like with my photo and then the boxes in here. I was able to fit three boxes on the sheet and then you can fit three members per side. I'm going to put in the photos later for my family members, but for now I'll just keep my photo and I'll show you what it looks like once I fill it in. Okay, so the next planner sheet I'm going to create is a evacuation plan of our house and that way we could go through it during household meetings that we hold to go over our emergency plan. Um, I'm just going ahead and decorating it again with the washi tape that I used prior. So now that I've laid out my floor plan, I'm going to actually use a red paper mate marker to kind of do a track path for everyone to be able to understand where they're supposed to exit, especially for my son that he knows where to exit in case of an emergency. Now that I have my evacuation system down, I want to insert a little step guideline for my son to be able to understand in case you know, he wants to read this and get practice of where the exits are. I have this colorful box um, sticker book from Happy Planner, and I'm going to be using this large box right here. And I'm just going to put it right towards this corner right here. Line it up with my washi tape. All right. And this way I could put some information on here. Now that I have my evacuation plan set, I'm going to put it right after my family member list. So I'm going to add it right here. All right, I went ahead and added a dashboard right after our plan section. And I'm going to use this to keep notes for any of the household meetings that you host um, every so often to keep track of what's going on. And if there's any changes that need to be done. So I'm going to be using that pack of Happy Planner um, line sheets that I purchased and I'm just going to put some of these in this section right here and it's just a great way to designate someone in the household that's a great note taker that could take down notes when you are having these meetings and going through these practices and any suggestions that they may have can be written down here as well All right, so the last sheet I wanna create is an update timeline. Basically, it's gonna keep track of when you should update your system every so often. I'm going to be doing it pretty much every three to four months. I'll show you how I set it up here. So I'm going to be using my Happy Memory Keeping Planner, Dates and Holidays, and then also my Alphabet Happy Planner book. And I also have this sheet from the Travel Happy Planner sticker book and I'm gonna be using these arrows. It's a holiday sticker book, and I'm using this section right here of the months. And I'm just putting in March, because that'll be the first time that I update my system. And I'm using the colorful boxes, of course, again. I'm using the red ones. And I'd like to put that down underneath here. And I want to put down when we had our first meeting, so that's a great way to keep track of when you had your meeting. And then just a fun way to jump from month to month, I'm gonna be using these arrows from the travel sticker book. Okay, I'm just going to use this one right here. I like the one with the dashes. Okay. So then it reminds you that the next time you need to update will be in June. We'll just put that down. That's when I need my tweezers. I'm gonna put that down and then we'll put another colorful box right underneath it. 
to put the date of when you had your next meeting. All right, now that I have my months all laid out and stuff, I'm going to be using this gold trimmed colorful box just to pull in a little bit of gold of that washi tape. And I'm going to be using the lined one. And I want to put that down here. And I'm just going to list out what I should be checking every, you know, set date. All right, so we have our planner here. And um, we're just going to put this update timeline right after your dashboard. And this will be more your, like, update timeline slash note-taking section. And then what I want to add towards the back of the planner is this folder that I mentioned before. And you could just buy these at any of your local craft stores or you could order it um, on the Happy Planner website. But I have this from one of the extension packs that I purchased. Um, and I'm going to insert in there my state map of Arizona. And that way you have a road map in case you don't have Google Maps working for you. So that's basically the majority of the layout. And now I'm gonna go in and put a couple of stickers and make it fun. Now that we have our emergency plan completed, the last thing we need to add is our zipper pouch. So I'm just gonna put this back on here. And you could put it inside, outside, wherever you feel most comfortable putting it. I'm just gonna put it right here so it's easily accessible to me. And I'm gonna put in my flashlight and my whistle slash compass. You could put an extra pair of batteries here for your flashlight if you like. We have some in our duffel bag, but that's just a great way to have it. So that's the look of it. And I'll go through this just to show you what it looks like. So here's our family emergency plan cover. And then we have our envelope with our cash on hand in case we can't you know, reach our bank account. And this is our planning section. So we have our family emergency communication plan that I downloaded from FEMA. And then you can fill this all in with all the information that you need, all your medical information, then I created this family member sheet right here. Our evacuation plans on this. And then we have our dashboard to separate our meeting and note taking. Right here we have our update timeline sheet where you'll update each accordingly to um, what, how many months you separated. So I have it every three months. And then it has a checklist of what you should be checking. Not only in your emergency plan, but your duffel bag as well. And then we have our little note sheets that you can have someone designated to take down notes for household when you have your household meetings. And then we also have our folder holding our state map with our little cute compasses. And we have an extra slot here in case you wanna add any more information. But again, guys, this is just a start. You guys can keep adding more to it, whatever it is that you need to make it personal. I probably will add some of my son's medical information in here, what medication he takes, any allergies that he may have. It's also great to have a copy of your driver's license and your birth certificate in here. So I'll probably put that in towards the back, towards this section after the communication plan, just so I have that in hand in case of an emergency. So FEMA recommends having a basic emergency kit inside your house or even in your car to be able to survive for a couple of days in case of an emergency or until you get help. So I have a basic duffel bag here with wheels so it's easily accessible and easy for me to roll out in case of an emergency. So some of the items they recommend having are an air mattress. I have one here with the pump, preferably one that's not electrical um, because you might not have access to electricity. A warm blanket. Some baby wipes, 
toilet paper, of course, a first aid kit, any medication that you're taking, some face masks, and different size of batteries, matches, and then I have a knife with a blade cover on here, or you could put a pocket knife, whichever of your preference. Uh, for canned food, they recommend having low sodium, high um, liquid uh, canned food. So I have some corn here that's low sodium, as well as some beans. A handheld can opener. And they recommend having a gallon of water per day per person. So for example, a person like myself, I would need three gallons of water. And they also recommend having any important documentation, or important files that you need um, on hand in case you know your house were to go on fire or have a flood on um, in an airtight container. I am just recycling my washi tape container here with, and they are storing all my USBs on here. Um, you can also put extra flashlights in here um, and any other personal items that you feel your family may need to be able to survive in case of an emergency. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and seen how I created my family emergency plan. I really love how it turned out. I'm in love with just using this happy planner system and having everything in one location for me. And it's a really great way to incorporate your kids into having fun creating a system like this. One more thing I need to do is just put it in my duffel bag, zip it up and put it in place in case of an emergency. Hopefully it's not a zombie apocalypse, just kidding. But I wish you nothing but the best and as always, Peace and love, guys.